Hello and welcome to the IPL Season 5 Championship Match. The champions of the Hoenn Division, the Bayern Munchlax, taking on the champions of the Sinnoh Division, the Toledo Team Rockets. Let's get this thing underway. Two great teams coming off just absolutely fantastic seasons. Both finished first in their respective conference. Um, you know, MVP candidates on both sides. Uh, Necrozma, probably the best Pokemon in the league thus far. So, let's, I'm gonna tell these guys that they can get started. Oh, man. I'm excited for this. As we can see, the Byron Munchlax brought Zero Aura, which has been a threat this season. Greninja, Alolan, Muck, Heracross, Gliscor, and Clefable. And on the other side, we have Necrozma, Celesteela, Victini, Koopa, Blastoise, and Terrakion. Make sure you put in the chat who you think is going to win this battle. Uh, Steven, probably the favorite, looking for his first title ever. And we have our leads. We have Greninja versus Terrakion. It's now time to get this underway. So Greninja obviously has the type advantage here, but Matt could be Scarfed, but he's not, as we see, unless the Greninja is Scarfed as well. We'll see if he sets up his rocks here. And he doesn't, he goes straight for the close combat onto Clefable. Clefable, a good switch there, obviously resisting it. Matt switches out into Celestila, but Steven is able to get his rocks up. Bobrovsky, the goalkeeper for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Steven, a Canadian, um, so therefore he is a hockey fan. Heavy Slam coming in from Celestila. And then the Leech Seed after a knockoff from the Glyscore. Glyscore gets so much healing with that Poison Heal. That Leech is going to be huge. Switches out into the Air Slash, into Zera Aura. And we'll see what Matt switches into here, because Plasma Fist is going to do a number on a lot of Pokemon. Also, I'm sorry, I can't look at the chat, because I only have one monitor and one screen. Um... I guess I have another laptop, but it's in my car. And here comes the Plasma Fist, the so 61% to the Celestela, and an Earthquake from Celestela almost taking that Zera Aura out. Neither Pokemon goes down, however, both likely having so well, obviously Celesteela having defensive investment. Um, and Steven does like to run some HP uh, or bulk investment in all of his Pokemon. So uh, it takes that Earthquake. The Zero Aura takes that Earthquake decently well. I'm excited to see if there are any interesting sets uh, in this match. Heracross hasn't been used much this season, but does pack a punch. And another Plasma Fist comes out, and that's his... 54%. So the way he switched out into that Terrakion, uh, and the way that Matt went for close combat in the first turn, you have to think that it is a, um, it is a choice scarfed, uh, Terrakion. Right, let me, say, let me uh, adjust the mic volume, because apparently I'm not being loud enough. <laughs> Even though I'm basically yelling in my room, my neighbors are going to hate me. No, I'm going to change up the music. Let's do that Gen 7 champion theme. That's the best champion theme. Oh. Listen to that. Beautiful, gorgeous music there. The rapid spin getting into the stones, but Steven is just able to get it right back up. Grass not doing a 36% to that Blastoise. 
and the Magic Coat bouncing the Leaf Seed right back into the Celesteela. Great play by Steven there, uh, which will likely cause the Celesteela to switch out. So Celesteela pretty low right now and unable to get at back any of that HP from the Leaf Seed. And he, he stays in though, goes for the Heavy Slam, and oh my gosh, that healing from the Leech Seed and the um, the Poison Heal is too much. Swords Dance from Gliscor here, and the Celesteela goes down. Wow. And Blastoise has taken some damage, so you think a plus two Earthquake would actually be able to take it out. But you think Matt probably does go into Blastoise. Maybe Necrozma here can take a hit or two. Um, probably not two. Probably one. Depending on what set it is. He does have a Choice Scarf Terrakion, but I don't think a Stone Edge at this range would take it out. Maybe? If Victini has Glaciate, that's another possibility. Um, but obviously that won't outspeed. I'm pretty sure it does not outspeed Glyscore unless it's Scar. Oh, actually, it can if it's if it has a positive speed nature. Also, check out the podcast, the Cross Transceiver that Richie and I recorded. Um, it should be up soon. We don't know where yet, but it should be up soon. We had a great discussion about the Generation 8 trailer. What are some changes you guys would like to see for the League next year? Once again, I can't react to your, to your comments. I mean, I guess I could if I left. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna... Give me one second, I'm gonna bring up the stream, so it's gonna... I think if I do that, you won't be able to see. So he does go out into the Victini here. Vire Munchlax are in control, looking for their first title in the fifth season of the International Pokemon League. The Tleo Team Rockets also looking for their first title. Steven only one loss this season in a Week 10 match against the Beach City Corefish, a match that didn't, didn't end up mattering or didn't really matter at all um, in terms of seeding or who was going to make the playoffs. Zero playoff implications there. But uh, you would have liked to see Steven make some history and, and go the full 12-0, but alas, that won't happen. And Final Gambit! Something we saw in the All-Star game earlier today. So I was actually talking about this with Sahel. We should do the All-Star game afterwards, just in case there are any sets. Um... Or maybe Pokemon in the championship aren't eligible. So it does get rid of that plus two Glide score, but Matt does lose Victini in the process. Switches out into Blastoise, which is on really low health now. So um, Zero Aura is probably going to come in and pressure it out, and it won't really be able to go for a rapid spin here. Or really anything pressures it out. Um, anything that outspeeds Blastoise. So uh, he does go into Heracross, Steven does. And gets the, the gets the flame orb off because of the switch in turn. So um, the guts boosted facade will take out Blastoise. Steven in firm control now, unless Matt can pull another genie out of his hat. Is that a saying? A rabbit out of his hat. I'm combining sayings. Um, with that necrozma. He still Matt and, and the Tleo Team Rockets holding on to hope with three powerful Pokemon here, but Terrakion is very low. The Scarf Terrakion likely gonna go for a Stone Edge here. A neutral Stone Edge. 
Steven switches, or Rock Slide, rather. Steven switches out into Clefable, which tanks that extremely well. Now, could we see an Acid Downpour from Hoopa Unbound here? The problem is he can't switch into a Moonblast. He does switch into Hoopa, however, and he goes for the Grass Knot, Steven. So a middle ground play there. Interesting. Maybe he doesn't have Moonblast? Like, I mean, that can't be right. <laughs> Wait. So, so Matt, wow. So Matt just stole the leftovers from Steven using Flynn, Fling, flinging the Assault Vest. It's a dark type move, so it's not very effective. I thought for a second that Magic Coat might um, reverse that fling. Now, Clefable now is not going to get turn by turn recovery, which which is huge. And he goes for the Zen Head, but to no gunk shot, it seems like for um, Hoopa, but also it looks like there's no Moonblast on Bobrovsky here. And then there's a headbutt Clefable down. Now, if Greninja does have the Water Shuriken for Terrakion, Terrakion's dead. Unless, again, well, so this Greninja, I guess we probably confirmed that it is Scarf because it did outspeed Terrakion. Assuming Terrakion is Scarf, which I think, I think it is. I think it's pretty safe to assume that. So, um... U-turn obviously will, will kill the Supa and will do good damage to Necrozma if, if that's a switch in here. <laughs> Focus punch, but no. Hoopa goes down. Steven switches into the Heracross. Matt goes into Rakion. Probably gonna go for a Rock Slide again, but... Um, and he misses the Rock Slide. That's really unfortunate. Goes for the Facade. And that should about do it. With with that rock slide miss, uh, you know that that maybe could have turned the slot the the tides if, if Matt got a flinch. Um, but ultimately, we'll see if. Uh, Steven goes for the, the powerful stab Mega Horn, or if he goes for the safer facade play here. And he hits the Mega Horn, and there you have it! Steven Dick and the Bayern Munchlax go 12-1 on the season. Or sorry, 11-1 on the season, excuse me. And are your International Pokemon League champions. We'll see you in 2020 for Season 6 and Generation 8 of the IPL Pokemon League. We'll probably have some um, post-game interviews to follow with Steven uh, on another video on the channel. But for everyone here in the National Pokemon League, thank you so much for making it the best season ever, for finishing the season, and finally crowning our second champion in, in IPL history. Um, the Ohio State Fighting Sea Dots are no longer the champions of the league. Um, their, their reign as champion comes to an end. Alright, guys. Uh, I hope you all have a good night. Stay safe, all of you guys in Munich. Uh, I know this is a big title for you. Um, especially with Bayern Munchlat or with Bayern Munich not doing too well this season. Um, although they did just tie for first place, so congratulations to all your fans in, in, in Munich. Um, and as I said, we'll see you guys next time for season six.